Okay, Sagittarius, welcome to part two of your reading. So you have a low tolerance for this person's mind games. They see now that you will walk away quite quickly. They see you will turn your back on them. And the thing is about that is that you're very open to them. So they, they, they kind of know the type of person that you are. That this, what you're offering is real, what you're offering is sincere. That you're, you're open, you're honest, that you don't fear doing that. You don't have to play mind games. You can be open, you can be honest. You're not allowing them to change you as it makes you, you being expressive. But then, but you will, you will take their feedback or let their of and, and, and walk away. It doesn't mean that you, they, this person, let me tell you where they, where they, where they got it twisted. So you tell they thought because. Obviously, you've been open and honest. The eight of wands want to say Sagittarius cards. It's Mercury and Sagittarius that's open and honest like that. So, obviously, you've told this person that you love them. You've told them how they, you feel about them. You've been very open and you've been very honest. So, they know that about you. They know that you're sincere. They thought that meant that you would, walk, you would wait around for them or pursue them or allow them to be this way and that way with you. They don't understand that, that you're, you, you being honest is a part of your strength. And you're not going to let their way affect you or causing a reactionary response from you where you will be stuck in their mind games or you'll be angry. That the only thing you would do is you will bow out quickly and quicker than you were bowing out with them in the past that you would just walk away. You would just cut them loose. You would just move on like that. And they see that. And that's where your power lays in that. That your power lies in that, excuse me, is what I'm getting with this Sagittarius. Show me Sagittarius some on rising people. Show me Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. Show me Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. We want to clarify this Eight of Wands here. You had an Eight of Wands. That's what you're wanting. That's what you're being. Open, expressive, direct. One of your cards. You're great at that. That's one of your cards. Communication. And that's kind of what you're expecting, that type of back and forth. And then you had a tower. That's what's not happening. As I stated, that's where the problem is. But you're not waiting around trying to solution it. You're just doing your part by being open. If they don't pick up their part from there, you close the door like that. It's, it's, you're not chasing them or pursuing them or waiting around too long. You, I think you give this person now a fair lot of amount of time. And if they don't respond, you just move on and they see that. They see that your, your tolerance or your... You're, you're quick to walk away from them quicker than you were in the past. Magician. So you're, you're using your magician power of communication. Easy. Now they're spying. You leave, they start spying. I think you left this person again. You leave, they start spying. They start watching you. They can have other ways and other means of watching you other than the means and ways of you while normally communicating like that. Okay. And you two both have this tower with the magician. You're not waiting around, City you Tears. You, you, you're, you're more so in your own energy now. Show me this two of pentacles for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising people. Yeah, that's the two of pentacles. You, you will easily go in your own direction. It doesn't bother you. They're very sexually attracted to you, Sagittarius. They think you're very sexy physically. Let's see. Show me Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Judgment. You're making the judgment calls. It's like the opportunity is here to resurrect something, to start something, to start again. The opportunity is here to open a dialogue of communication like that. It's here. Now, but is the is okay, it's here. You're open to that. But if it doesn't happen, you you easily close the door. And you had you had to get to this point. And I feel that you feel good in it. This was you you asserting your own power. This is how you assert your own power. These are their regrets when you do that. And then they send the aroma out trying to draw you back in. They have regrets. 
They have fears of losing you, but they're not doing anything about it, Sagittarius. But the opportunity is here for them to do something, for them to communicate, for them to speak like that. Because you're making it easy for them. We had a five of wands. There could be other people around a romantic relationship. There could be other people around a romantic relationship. You're not into that competing and all of that stuff. You're not into that. You're those types of games. You had the five of ones and the five of swords. If this person has two people that they need to choose between and one of them are you, it's like you're not really into that. You're not into making excuses about they have childhood wound and that's why they don't know who they want to be with. Then they can't open up to you. Well, hell, if they can open up to the other person, what's the issue with open up to you like that? So, no, you're not into making excuses for this person. You you move on rather quickly here like that because when you were making excuses for them is when you were suffering. Show me city tears, sun, moon, rising people. So you're in your own energy. And they know that. Let's see. They want to have you around city tears without giving anything to you. Not even a clarifying communication or any type of anything. So you could easily turn your back on this person. Show me the five of swords for city tears. And that's your ace in the hole there. That's your checkmate. Okay. You could throw their energy back at them. Seven of Swords, they're being deceptive and you're not making excuses for it. Don't make excuses for their deception. They can't move forward with you. They won't open up with you. They're not giving anything to this situation because they're being deceptive. They're either married or already committed. And it has nothing to do with childhood wounding. They know they're being deceptive. And they just want to have you around because it makes it easier for them to stay in their relationship. If they know that you're on the outside loving them and wanting them and willing to wait for them and investing in them and thinking that they are divine masculine, there's nothing divine about them. That makes them easier for them to stay in the other relationship like that and give to it. It pumps them up and gives them the confidence to stay there and get in that situation. Look at things realistically and put yourself first. Now, we had a ton of pentacles during a commitment. Let's see. They're in a commitment. If they're single, they don't want a commitment. If they're not single, and you know they're not single, they're in a commitment. If you suspect that they met, they're married or living with someone, they are. Show me, and they just want to cheat and hold on to their commitment and hold on to what they have. They just like the idea of you loving them and giving it to them, and they don't have to give anything. Because it, it, it frees them up, and they can conserve their energy to get to the situation that they're in. Show me Sadie Terry's Sun Moon Rising. Show me Sadie Terry's Sun Moon Rising with set scandals. Set scandals for Sadie Terry's Sun Moon Rising. And they know you're willing to take responsibility for this relationship and take responsibility for what is wrong. They know you're willing to wait. You're, they know that you're willing to bear the burden of everything. They know that. They thought they knew it. Now they know they're wrong. This is another one of your cards, City Terry. Stop trying to manifest this relationship. Stop trying to manifest a reunion with this person. Stop trying to manifest this poison into your life like that and be happy when it's out. I feel that you all have gotten to that point now where you can leave them quickly and they know that you have also. You've already been patient with the situation and gave given it a healthy amount of time. And because you're healthy, the only thing you can do is turn your back. Only an unhealthy person would, would be abused like that and make excuses for why they're abused. Show me Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. You need to put your energy, direct your energy, Sagittarius, towards work, finances, your health, your life in general. That's what you need to direct your energy towards. What is giving back to you is where your energy needs to be directed and focused. That's where it's value. This person values it also, but not in a way where they they value because they can take from you and they can give it to the relationship that they're in, to the person that they're with. Seven of Wands, you drew the line in the sand and said the buck stops here. That's the Seven of Wands. Boundaries. You have boundaries and they know that you do. You have, it's more say to you, you have limits now. You have limits. Like you have your limits and it's really short. It's not the way that it was. It's not the way as patient as it was. They they overplayed their hand with you. They they this person said you tears. They they um exploited your patience. They they exploited how they know you feel about them. They exploited all that. They took all that for granted. So now it's like quickly you you have limits now. Of, of like you won't take hardly anything because you don't have to. Ten of Wands, they're a burden and you put it down. 
like that, you'll put that burden down quick. You won't even really pick it up as a burden anymore. You lightly check in. You want to talk? And if they ignore that, you're out. Okay. And they see that. They see it. Give in accordance, Sagittarius, to what is being is being given to you today, presently. Not their childhood wounding and how they're gonna be in the future, how you want them to be. What is happening today? You give in accordance to that because it shows where you are in your own health, like that. It shows if you're evolved, if you're healed. Give in accordance to where you are today, like that. It meaning based on what you're receiving. Give in accordance to what you're receiving and don't wait around to receive. Move on. Go on. Detach from this person. I think you are detached from them and they know it. And, and the bad thing about it is, say, is they know how you feel about them. and They know that you're honest and you're open and you're sincere. They know that you're a good person. They know that you're good heart and you're speaking from the heart with this eight of wands. They know that you've given this more than enough opportunity and chance. They know that. They know that you, you overgave in the situation. And that you didn't receive anything back. They know all of that. They may not feel bad about it, but they know it. And they'll milk it for everything it's worth if you continue to do that. Like that. The world card. You're letting that close. Conclusions. Conclusions. It's, this has come full circle. This could be a situation that has ended. And the person is, is a meaning that is gone as far as it's going to go. And the person keeps calling you back in. This is the aroma. Energetically calling you back in. Getting you your hopes up high. Making you feel enthusiastic that something can be different than what it was. You open that door with the judgment. And, and it goes back to what you go around in circles with the world card. But this person is going around in circles. It's like, but in the cycle is over. It's gone as far as it's going to go. Because they're not investing any more into it than they already did. So whatever you receive from this person in the past, that was as good as it was going to get. But they like the energy of you coming back and being under the influence of that honeymoon stage, but not investing to take it out of that. They like the idea of you being by their side and willing to be by their side. They, they hope that you will be willing to be by their side and not receive anything and you just be happy being by their side. So that they can stay in whatever situation they're in or continue to do whatever they're doing. And you can take responsibility for that. That's what they're hoping. Let's move on with Sadie Terry's summary round. Show me this. This um, so say Terry, stop manifesting your own poison here and, and go after put your energy and effort and focus into whatever is given back to you. Your general reading was quite positive, and that's where your energy and effort is folk and focus needs to be on. What matches you vibrationally? This is like being a dead horse. What matches you by vibration is what your energy and effort need and focus needs to stay on and be dedicated to. Leave the past in the past. You had a death. You had a sister once. Once you move on, you're going to have real love and true love. This is my I have a dream card, strength card. Whenever I see the strength card, I know the devil is somewhere lurking. It's actually restraint, being adamant. You're actually in a position of strength. You're in a better position than they are in, but you think that you're not. They're caught up in something. They can't even make their own decisions. They can't even do anything about this relationship, but that's not your problem. This is you. Attracting a lot of people romantically. If you would go ahead and let this situation end, die, be done with. Let the past stay in the past because it's completed. Like that and move forward and understand that you're the one that's free, Sagittarius. It's them that's not free. And you don't have to put yourself in bondage or manifest your own poison to stay in that misery, love, company type situation with them. Okay, Sagittarius, that's your reading. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.